What's going on YouTube? This is Don the Watch Guy, actually reviewing a watch that I picked up. So what I end up picking up is the Thomas Earnshaw watch. And I am not 100% sure the model. I want to say it's the Flinders. So this is the brown and gold variation with like a silver tone whitish dial. It has a power reserve right underneath the 11, 12, and 1 o'clock position. Also has an open heart that moves. You know, it's pretty cool. It's not a tourbillon. It's just a open heart moving second hand. So there is no sweeping second hand. The second hand you're looking at right here at the 6 o'clock position is how it keeps time. It can be wound and the power reserve will go up as soon as you wind it with the crown basically you leave it at this position and the crown will wind the watch nothing fancy about the movement it does have a decorated rotor but it is a Chinese I'm assuming very cheap very inexpensive movement but I just basically am paying for the look of the watch so this is the brown and gold variation the leather strap is kind of stiff takes a little bit of time to break in as you can see I've been trying to break it in and wear it a little bit but it is just not a great strap it is a very 15 to 20 dollar strap and I would recommend probably replacing it and I am and I already have a replacement for it here's the black variation I kind of like this version a little bit more because it doesn't look as cartoony when it comes to the power reserve so it just basically it just has that no like weird looking like a swoosh kind of thing it, it's just more plain and more subdued it does still have the gold accent for the um, second hand and the open heart however I actually like that it actually gives it some presence it's a pretty thick case I'm guessing this is around 13 14 millimeters thick same movement nothing special the jewels are not really that decorated it does keep accurate time and again you can see that the crown is stamped with the double e logo of thomas earnshaw which is supposedly a british brand from the 1800s as you can see like on the dial it just says earnshaw power reserve nothing fancy just a Roman numeral 12 a power reserve here um, so I'll put them side by side so you can see the differences very minor differences the, basically the power reserve um, logo or indication on this watch is right here at the 3 o'clock position on this watch it's actually at the 7 o'clock position there and then reserves on that side and the hands are very similar, nothing to write home about. They're a little bit different in shape. As you can see, this one kind of bows out. That one just is kind of more of a like an arrow. And you can see the difference between the power reserve. It's here marked in gold with a logo. This one has numbers. So I actually like the numbers a little bit better. And I actually like that the open heart and the you know the thing that keeps it down is on the top of the dial so it gives it more of a 3d effect this one kind of has a 3d effect but only because there's a plate underneath with uh engraving so i actually like both of these the strap like again i said it sucks it's not very supple not very soft it does bend and it is genuine leather but this is like very low grade genuine leather these cost about $140 on evine.com. And I would say for the money, you may be able to do better with another brand. However, this design is very unique. Somewhat unique, I would say very unique. But it's unique, it doesn't really copy or it doesn't look like a pure homage to something else. It does have its own flair, its own flavor. So, um, if you guys haven't seen the Thomas Earnshaw watch, because I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on them, here you go. And if you want to buy them, I'll put links in the description box. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I know I'm going on a little bit long here, but there are two watches. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, 
leave your comments in the comment box and till the next time until another watch signing off